Hello everyone! This is the famed egg method video. I haven't been around for a while because I got scalped about, I don't know, three weeks ago, four weeks ago. And I'm counting the day that my hair got, you know, about an inch thick, an inch thick. And that was January 1st, so this is probably my second week in wolfing. Uh, what you're going to need for this egg method is an egg, whole size egg, maybe a glass. You're going to need to shampoo and condition your hair. You're going to need a brush and a comb. And I want to make this clear to everyone. This is for nappy haired people. This isn't for straight hair or curly people haired people, this won't benefit you at all. Or you won't get the benefits that I will explain later on in this video. Okay, for nappy haired people, this is like a natural kit. Now a kit is a kit made by different companies such as Escrow, Wave Builder, that contains thousands or millions or whatever of chemicals that are said to give you automatic waves, which is not true, and why would you want to put that many, that amount of chemicals in your hair at one time, which will hurt you. Now the egg method is very healthy. As you know, eggs are healthy. Omega fatty acids, vitamins, minerals, I'm not very educated with this stuff, though I should be, and I'll probably post it around now. So now you know that eggs are very healthy, alright? Alright, so this is the egg method for nappy-haired people only. Thank you. Alright, so what you're going to do first is you're going to shampoo and condition. Uh, if you need help with that, check out my shampoo video. I will post a link here. Yeah, right around here. Just, just, just look at it and click on it and you'll find where my shampoo video is, alright? Now, I will zoom or do a fast forward to after I have shampooed and conditioned my hair. Alright, so I just finished shampooing. Just ignore what I said about conditioning, alright? Conditioning will come at the end of this process. Alright, so you're going to take your egg. This is your egg. Whole egg. It doesn't matter whether it's brown or white or whatever. Now, you're going to crack it. I don't know how good I can do this above the place thing. And you got to make sure that you don't scramble it. All right. So let me do it down here. So that I'm, so that I'm better at doing it. And it's going to come out whole. Yes, it's perfect. All right, so this is the proof. Because I know that many people aren't going to believe me when I do this egg method. Uh, so it, that's, the crack, that's the cracked egg. Uh, this is the egg yolk. Now what you're going to do now, let me take the camera. You're going to separate the yolk from the cytoplasm. It looks like. I guess that's what I call it. That's what I don't call it. The cytoplasm. So, you have to make sure that you're careful with this and you don't pour out the yolk itself. Because the yolk is important. Sure, you can use another hand to help take this out. Okay, so as you can see, it's not really going out single. Oh wait, it did. Alright, so let me do this a little bit better and then I'll show you. Let me do this with two hands. Ten 
times better. See? No sound, no cytoplasm. Alright, so now your hair is wet. What you're gonna do is now just take the yolk and put it in your head and brush it in, alright? So this is real poop. My hand. The yolk. It's the yolk. Burst it. No, just like put your hand in it and then it'll separate. Take a little bit at a time. And then they're spreading your hand. This is kind of difficult to show. Alright, so this is the egg yolk on my hand. Into my hair. Just make sure that you get a good amount in your hair. It's okay if only a little bit falls out. Make sure that you get most of it in your hair. Now, after you've gotten your hair, just, just, I mean, just, just apply it like a normal moisturizer. And this is the main thing. People got, keep on saying, well, if you put eggs in your hair, your hair is going to smell. Now, you don't leave it in your hair. You act like it's a conditioner. You brush it in, leave it in for about five minutes, and then wash it out. Make sure that it gets it all clear of your hair. Now you get your hard brush or hard or medium brush. I'm going to be using my medium brush. Right here. Proof of being in my hair. And then you're just going to brush it in. You're not going to wash it out yet. And as you can see, the S curls are really coming out. This is like a, this is really a natural, a natural, Okay, all right, so fast forward. All right, so now it's easily it's evenly placed around my head. Now you're gonna take a wave cap or some sort of compression and you're going to compress your hair for about 5 minutes I have a flimsy wave cap right here but it works good, it keeps it in and you're just going to sit there in your hair for about 10 minutes 10 minutes is good. Alright. Get back to you in 10 minutes. As you can see, I just decided to add more compression. Now I have two wave caps. My good wave cap, which is this one. And the sucky one that I probably got when I first started wave. You know what I'm saying? So you take both of them out. Uh, yeah, by now it's probably stuck to your head because the egg dried. This is probably why people think that if you put eggs in your hair, it'll smell because they probably leave this in their hair overnight, go to school with it in your hair, and then their hair ends up smelling like shit. You're not supposed to do that. Though, I can sort of agree with them and say that it does make your hair smell if you leave it in for a long time but it does have its benefits you know what I'm saying so you win some, you lose some it's an exchange good and bad, etc. if you do it that way this way you won't, your hair won't smell because it's in your hair for about 10 to 15 minutes I said 5 earlier sorry 10-15 minutes and then you wash it out so now I'm going to wash it out alright and you should wash it out too wash it out with hot water I think that's the best way to go 
you can see that it's pretty hard on my head. See that? Hold on. I'm back. I wanted to take some pictures and so that I could show this at the end of the video. Because my hair is pretty hard and it's really it really it's really wavy. I mean it's really nice. So I just wanted to take pictures and show that at the end of the video. Uh, it was it's sort of gonna be like a before and after. So now you wash it out of your hair. Uh, fast forward to after I've washed it out of my hair. Alright, so I just washed it out and you should have just washed it out too if you're sort of like doing this with me. Now, you're going to grab, this is where the shampoo comes in. The whole process, the whole point of this is to make your hair softer. If your hair is softer, your hair is going to be more manageable. And therefore, you can soften your hair and then make it straighter. That's the process of the kit. And that's why it helps so much, because it uses chemical straights to straighten out your hair. Now the egg also uses good chemicals to straighten out your hair. Now, after all that softening from the shampoo to the egg, now it's the conditioner, the ultimate softness. And you're just going to leave this overnight. Luckily, this is a leave-in leave conditioner of cholesterol, my favorite. And now you're just going to put it in your hair like any other time, but this time you're not going to wash it out gonna leave it in your hair all night. Uh, putting your hand, rubbing your hair. This is it. And when you wake up, your hair will be much more softer. Obviously, it's not always gonna be, well, am I gonna see results in the next hour? No, it's, you will see results in the next week. The, you'll see a difference in the next week. Hair will be much more softer, much more manageable. And if you continue to do this every month, every month you do this egg method, you will see a great change in your hair texture and how easy it is to get waves. So this is Dead End signing out. I'm going to be making how to tie a do-rag video next. Alright, thank you. Bye.